back to what I was saying, let me go back to those screens. Sorry, so we're going to look at superfluids and we're going to look at the TDSs. So you can see here where it says TDSs. So when I say the term TDS, that's transdermal solutions. We're going to look at six superfluids and four of these TDSs. As I say, all the superfluids and all the TDSs can be used in the treatments and they can be used in retail, which is where we're getting the confusion of when we use what. All right, so this is the superfluids. And you can see there's six of them here. And these are one ingredient. There's one ingredient only in these superfoods. We have retinol, we have vitamin C, we have prebiotic, which we'll be looking at. We have NAD that some people may not be aware of. Cyanoacculate, this one here. Again, this is a new ingredient to a lot of people. And then a hyaluronic acid, which we talked about in the last presentation that we did, but most people will know hyaluronic acid as an ingredient. So six superfluids, complete customization for professionals. So we have the six superfluids there. In a treatment, I'm just gonna mention this right at the beginning, but I will go through it in more detail. With the superfluids, you can use up to two superfluids in your peel. And we can also use these superfluids as a booster under your mask or at the end of the treatment under your moisturizer and we can use it as a glide in microneedling. So you can see that there's a lot of uses for these um, superfluids. We'll just start to go through how we're gonna use them. So six superfluids, concentrated ingredient-based fluids, they provide therapists the opportunity to completely customize the professional treatment according to the client's needs. So out of those six superfluids, what we can do is we can look at the client in front of us and we can say, what of those ingredients do we need to use on this client today? Where is their skin lacking? And where can we boost the results by using these ingredients? So when we talk about customization, we have those products and we can look at the client and choose which one is really gonna give the best result. So why use superfluids? Superfluids enhance the efficacy of any professional treatment. They're compatible with all the NIMU professional treatment peels except Smart Resurfacer. So with these peel, um, with these superfluids, we can actually mix them into our peels, which is where this customization comes from. So we have the bioactive treatment and the um, SRC that we can mix up to two of these superfluids into, okay? Now I've written there, except the smart resurfacer. Those of you that know, the smart resurfacer is the new peel from NIMU and we would not use these um, superfluids mixed in with the smart resurfacer. So when we talk about customization, we can pick a peel. So we could have our bioactive and we could say, right, that's going to give a beautiful exfoliation to the client. And we can pick up to two of those superfluids to mix into that peel to really give the ultimate result. So it empowers therapists to tailor your treatments. And I actually don't know any other range that allows this kind of customization. So we've got a beautiful peel there and then we can pick up to two of those superfluids to really give an amazing result on the client's skin. So it takes professional treatments to the next level. Each superfluid contains a super concentrate of that active ingredient. So as I said, we can mix it into peels. The other use for this is that it can be used as a glide for microneedling. It can also be used as a serum under a mask. So you can see we're really multitasking with these superfluids. And I say, this is where the confusion comes with these um, superfluids because there's so much that we can do with them. Once you get your head around it, it gives you an amazing ability to really work and give the client the best result. But just repeating that, we can use these in peels. We can use it as a glide for microneedling. And also, if we're not doing any of those, if we're just doing a nice relaxing treatment, we could use that serum under the mask. So as we said, six treatment superfluids there, the retinol, the vitamin C, the prebiotic, the transdermal, the CA, and the hyaluronic. And we're gonna look at those in more detail so you have an understanding of when you would use these superfluids and for who. So the first one, most people know retinol. And what you will find is customers, when they come in, they will ask you, because retinol and vitamin A is so well known, they will say, can I have some vitamin A? Because they've heard a lot about it. So you can retail this retinol, but we can also use it in our treatment as well. So what are the benefits of retinol? It firms the skin. It's really the vitamin A for anti-aging here. It does so much. It reduces age spots, it assists in repairing and preventing signs of photo-aging. It stimulates collagen and elastin. It'll also help to increase that hyaluronic, that moisture magnet in the skin. 
Vitamin A is an antioxidant. It improves um, skin's appearance by stimulating and increasing that cell renewal, which we know as we age starts to slow down. And that's really where um, the vitamin A got its um, such as hero sort of ingredient because we're really boosting that cell renewal. It can also help with reducing acne and congestion. So vitamin A. Vitamin A is an essential micronutrient, micronutrient. That means that our bodies cannot manufacture it and therefore it must be included in our diet. So we get vitamin A from things like carrot and carotene. You can get it in eggs, you can get it in liver. But vitamin A needs to come from a food source into the body and then it's stored in the liver until it's required. So vitamin A is what we call an oil-soluble vitamin. So it's oil loving. Now with NIMU, we use the retinol form of vitamin A. So NIMU uses a retinal form of vitamin A, which is converted into the skin to the bioavailable retinoic acid. So for it to be a benefit to the skin, it needs to become this retinoic acid. But we apply it in the retinal form. When retinol and other retinoids come into contact with the skin, the enzymes in the body convert that retinol into retinoic, which is the bioavailable active form of vitamin A. We know that a lot of our clients will get prescription Retin-A, okay? When you're using prescription Retin-A, it's already in that retinoic form. Now, the problem with that is it causes a lot of sensitivity to the skin, okay? Which is why we use the vitamin A form. This conversion isn't required if you're using that retinoic acid. It directly attaches itself to the receptors in the skin, and then you get the results from that. So retinol is the most popular non-prescription form of retinol because it's safe, and we get these amazing results with it. So really with retinol, a lot of companies use it. What makes ours different is really the way that we deliver it to the skin. Now, a lot of people will ask you what the percentage is of the retinol that we use. Ours is under 1%, but I don't have the exact percentage. NIMI doesn't supply that for us. I'm being upfront with you, so I know some of you will ask me. We do not supply that. It is at the perfect dosage and I really can see that because clients that use this that isn't the sensitivity that you can get with a lot of other brands it is purely results driven so what we use here is a, um, a delivery system called cyclodextrin and as I say it's all about how we deliver this retinol to the skin without causing sensitivity at the perfect dosage so we get all those benefits without any of the side effects because sometimes you can see with people when they go onto retinol they get the redness they get sensitivity and they get flaking with our retinol it's very very safe and it's results based and you don't don't get those side effects. So cyclodextrin, there's a picture here of this delivery system. What it is, it's um, they're like a donut shaped circle of glucose and they hold the active retinol inside of them and it's delivered to the skin's surface. So the active is released directly onto the skin in its purest form, meaning that it's got the greater bioavailability so it's nice and controlled. We don't put too much on the skin at once. It's slowly delivered to the skin. So once it's applied to the skin, the retinol is gradually released due to the controlled release of this cyclodextrin um, system. So we slowly release the ingredients, making sure that we get the maximum results with minimum irritation, which is the whole concept of NIMU. So just talking again about how retinol converts itself in the skin. So we apply the retinol to the skin. When the retinol reaches the dermis or the epidermis, it is converted to retinol palmitate. This is the only way it can enter into the skin, um, into the cells and into the fibroblasts. When it crosses the cell membrane of the skin, it is converted back to retinol. And once inside the skin, it is converted into that retinoic acid, which is the one that we need to get the results. And then it acts as a cell communicator. It tells other cells to increase cell turnover and it will also increase that cell turnover. So it's going to improve exfoliation of the skin. So the benefits, again, retinol lightens pigmentation spots and boosts skin radiance in two ways. First, it increases and normalizes cell turnover. As I said, as we age, our cell turnover slows down. So it's going to boost that cell turnover. Secondly, it acts as a tyrosinase inhibitor. So it will reduce the amount of melanin being produced in the skin. Retinol stimulates the fibroblast cells to produce more collagen and more elastin. So that's where we're getting that reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. We're getting that firming effect. Speeding up cell renewal, and that in turn is going to improve the skin texture, giving us a more youthful appearance. And retinol will improve the appearance of breakout as it improves cell turnover and balances oil production. So you can see it's a really excellent superfluid, and we can use, as I say, customize it for those clients that are looking for those results. 
Moving on to our vitamin C. Again, this is an ingredient that clients will come in and they are looking for. People have heard of vitamin C. So this we're going to give really to hyperpigmented skins and a dull complexion. So the benefits of a vitamin C superfluid, as I say, remembering that we can mix this into the peel, we can use it as a glide for microneedling, or we can use it under the mask or even under the moisturizer at the end of the treatment. And your clients, if they're really wanting vitamin C, they can use this at home. So it's gonna brighten, reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation, even the skin tone, decrease pigmentation spots, it's a potent antioxidant, and it's gonna help strengthen the capillary walls. It will actually help to rebuild those capillaries. So it's gonna help reduce redness in the skin as well. So vitamin C is known as ascorbic acid. It is necessary for the growth, development, and repair of all body tissues. Vitamin C is actually a water-soluble vitamin. It's gonna boost that collagen and elastin. It's gonna to help to reduce pigment by reducing that tyrosinase enzyme as well. But vitamin C also has a brightening effect in the skin. So if you put it into the skin, it's gonna lighten existing pigment. It's a potent antioxidant and protects the skin from free radical damage and UV damage. And as I said, it protects and strengthens those capillaries. It also, it's a brilliant um, wound healing ingredient as well because of the increase in the collagen and elastin. Again, it's about how it's delivered. A lot of people have vitamin C. Again, I can't give you the percentage, but I can tell you that we get great results with it because of the way that it's delivered to the skin and the dosage it's in. So vitamin C will oxidize very quickly and it is sensitive to light. So it's a very difficult ingredient to work with. So the NIMI vitamin C comes in the form of a flexible round capsule. So you can see here, what we do is we encapsulate it. And if you think of maybe your essential fatty acid, you know, they've got that gel-like covering. It's a little bit like that, the way that we deliver it to the skin. It comes in a flexible round capsule that can misshape and reshape to its original form. The outside of this is made with a marine collagen and then we put the vitamin C inside. And it's what they call a reform reshape. And I remember Eunice, she described this and it's always stuck with me. She said, if you can you imagine a mouse running along the, the floor and then there's a door in front of it that's closed and it squashes down and then it comes out the other side and reshapes. And that's really how this works. You can see here, it penetrates and it reforms and reshapes once it's in the skin. And it enables the vitamin C to penetrate the skin in an effective manner. Allows for extended release, again, slow release, and increased bioavailability in the deeper layers of the skin. So all these ingredients are the companies use, but it's really the percentage and the delivery with NIMU that's gonna give you the results. Prebiotic. Now let's have a little look at prebiotic superfluid. This is for problematic and acne prone skins, although everybody will benefit from the prebiotic. So we're just gonna have a little look at prebiotics and I can talk for hours about this, but I'm not going to. Prebiotic um, anti-acne. It promotes wound healing. This is what we're looking for. It's anti-inflammatory. It provides nutrition to healthy bacteria. And we'll look at this in a little bit more. It's gonna improve skin's immunity. It's really gonna to help to strengthen the skin's barrier. And what it's doing is it's working on the skin's microbiome. So when we look at the microbiome, some of you may have heard of it, some of you not. A lot of people are talking about gut health and bacteria and good bacteria and bad bacteria. We have bacteria living on our skin and we're learning more and more <clears throat> sorry, about how important it is to have those bacteria there. We used to think that we didn't want them, but we know now that it is actually vital for a healthy skin to have a really diverse um, microbiome. So the skin's microbiome refers to the mix of bacteria, yeasts, and parasites that live on the skin. So when we talk about these bacteria, they are probiotic. Okay, the bacteria that live on our skin are probiotic. The skin is colonized by a diverse array of these microorganisms. Think of it a bit like a rainforest with lots of different things living in there. Actually, the more diverse the microbiome, the healthier your skin will be. These bacteria on the skin surface play an important role in communicating with and educating the skin and the immune system. If we have a really diverse microbiome, it's going to work to improve the barrier function of the skin, improve the immunity. It'll give us a healthy, soft, hydrated, radiant skin. So with this, what we're going to do is we're going to help using the prebiotic superfluid improve the microbiome in the skin. So we have probiotics and prebiotics. What's the difference? This 
serum is a prebiotic. So as I said to you, probiotics are the live bacteria that are living on the skin. Active bacterial cultures that provide health benefits when consumed or applied to the skin. Prebiotics, and that's what we're using here with this superfluid, they are food for the probiotics. So what we're doing is we're actually feeding the bacteria on the skin, which is gonna make them healthier and more diverse. So it's gonna boost that microbiome in your skin. So it's gonna then in turn enhance skin barrier and the immunity of the skin. So what are prebiotics? What you'll find when you get this superfluid is it's got little dots in it and you'll feel them. As you massage it onto the skin, they burst. So in those little spherical spheres, you have prebiotics and prebiotics are food for that bacteria. So they're selected sugars, so polysaccharides are sugars, encapsulated in a cellular matrix, which is what I mean, the little dots you'll feel when you massage this on. They're a powerful food supplement and conditioning agent. They cannot be metabolized or used by harmful bacteria, yeast and or molds, but they will work on these good bacteria and help to improve that microbiome, which in turn is gonna help reduce dry, cracked and inflamed skin because it's gonna work on the skin barrier. So what we're using in here is food for these bacteria, inulin, which you'll find in the roots of plants. Um, it's a humectant ingredient as well, so it's gonna hold moisture in the skin. We use a yeast in there. That in itself is antioxidant, but it's food for these prebiotics. Um, the seaweed extract and that's food and it again will activate the cell metabolism but it's feeding these prebiotics and as I said to you the more diverse the bacteria on the skin the healthier barrier function will be and the healthier your immunity will be so we've used this for um, acne prone is what we put this in but you can see it's actually beneficial to everybody i've seen great results on a skin that's got a really compromised barrier rosacea cuprose this will actually really improve those skin conditions as well but when we look at acne when we think of acne we think of the p acne bacteria which is a bacteria and it's not a bad bacteria it is it there's an overgrowth of it so by using this prebiotic serum what we can do is improve the bacteria all across the board, which will balance out how much of that P-acne we have. We don't want to get rid of the P-acne, we just don't want too much of it. So the superfluid benefits, the prebiotics mode of action, it'll increase that microbial population. Adhesion, so it's going to keep that um, microbiome nice and strong. It'll improve barrier function, it's hydrating, and it's going to help with the skin's immunity. So the prebiotic there, we've got under acne, but as I said, you can use that for a healthy skin for everybody. Anyone that's got a compromised barrier, they will benefit from that prebiotic superfluid. Transdermal NAD is our next superfluid. This is for dull skin with signs of wrinkles and sagging. So NAD, let's have a look what NAD is. Transdermal NAD superfluid, it prevents fine lines, wrinkles and age spots. It promotes extension of cellular lifespan, so it increases the energy of the cell. It will give us a brighter, clearer complexion. It helps to smooth and reduce wrinkles. It will help give a visible lifting effect. It plumps and energizes the skin. This is beneficial to recommend to someone who's in their mid 20s and 30s. I tend to recommend this to somebody who's partying hard and maybe they're smoking and the skin looks very dull and asphyxiated. This will help to bring life to the skin. So let's have a look what NAD is. NAD is a coenzyme. So most of you will have heard of coenzyme Q10. It's an enzyme in the skin that creates energy. Okay, it activates the longevity and the communication of these cells. According to research, it is found that increasing NAD levels in the cell prevents age-associated metabolic decline. So by improving the energy, the cells communicate better and all cellular functions are improved. So as I say, if it's somebody that's partying hard, that's going to be affected from lifestyle. So what will this do? It'll improve the cellular metabolism, it'll improve cell repair and extend cell lifespan. 
Now, the problem with NAD is, and we've got two people here with a giant cupboard trying to get through a small door. And the reason they've used that as a picture is because NAD's very big. We cannot apply NAD directly to the skin and get it in, across to the cell membrane to be utilized. It won't work like that. NAD is generated inside the cells. It cannot be applied directly to the skin in a cosmetic formula because it can't cross that intercellular membrane. Okay, so what we use instead is NR, nicotinamide riboside. Okay, this is a natural molecule found in the body, and what it does is it functions as a precursor to NAD. So, what we're going to do is use that to raise the levels of NAD on the inside of the cell. So, we can use that NR and we can get that across the cell membrane to increase that NAD level within the cell. So, NR is smaller molecules that are the building blocks of NAD. So, what we've done is change that big parcel into smaller ones so we can get it through the door across the cellular membrane once it's inside the cell we can rebuild it to nad and it will raise those nad levels within the cell boosting cell communication boosting atp and energy production all right now this is one of my favorite ingredients as far as i know nimu is one of the only ranges that uses this at the moment we have the patent on it i'm going to try and say this Cyano Aculate, okay. I call it CA. I'm the trainer, I can't even say it. I think Lydia can say it better than me. This they've got in for sensitized and inflamed skin. And when you think of this ingredient, I want you to think of inflammation from free radicals, okay? What this will do is calm the skin and it helps to neutralize reactive oxygen species. On a sensitive skin, if they are more reactive, free radicals wreak havoc and redness and inflammation. But everybody is under attack from reactive oxygen species. So what this does is it helps to quench the reactive oxygen species free radicals. So it actually stops the formation of reactive oxygen species. So reactive oxygen species is that double O2 free radical from light and from free radicals. And it causes a lot of damage. It destroys the DNA, it destroys the cell membrane, it destroys the collagen, the elastin, everything. So as far as I know, there's really, we'll look at it in a minute, there's only one way of doing that, and that is to try and block it from getting into the skin. This will actually stop the reaction once it's in the skin. So reactive oxygen species is the biggest cause of inflammation in the skin. So this CA acts as an anti-inflammatory. Inflammation in the skin will cause premature aging. Okay, it's one of the major causes of aging, that inflammation and that redness. And I know um, we use, I've seen when people use this, that, that redness and the evenness comes back to the skin. It's absolutely quite incredible to watch it. It's very, very quick. If they're using this at home, that inflammation will go down visibly within a couple of days. So it's gonna prevent and reduce visible signs of photo aging. CA not only helps with skin sensitization, but also photo aging effects. So let's have a look at what we're talking about here. So if we imagine the skin here and the sun comes through and it creates these reactive oxygen species in the skin from light. Normally there's only two ways of dealing with that. We can use a sunscreen to try and stop the CA from coming into the skin, or we can use antioxidants to mop up afterwards. But the damage has been done, but we can help to reduce that by the antioxidants. Okay, so sunscreens absorb, reflect, or scatter UV, but they do not protect from that UVA1, which will still pen penetrate. Antioxidants scavenge free radicals and rust, but only once they've already come into the skin and they've started damaging the skin. So this is where CA acts very, very differently. So let's have a look at it. You, the CA is not a UV filter, it's not a sun filter, and it's not an antioxidant. What it will do is it blocks the formation of light-induced oxidative stress. So when the skin is exposed to UV light cells such as melanin, so these are the light-absorbing um, cells, so you have things like melanin, your porphyrins, your riboflavin, they absorb that UV and that photon, which is the energy in light, and it excites these cells, which causes reactive oxygen species. So if you imagine the UV comes in, it hits these cells, and they start becoming overwhelmed, and they create reactive oxygen species. What CA does is it acts directly on these cells, and it absorbs that energy. 
So it actually stops the reactive oxygen species from forming. So this genuinely is an absolutely incredible ingredient because it's not blocking, it's not mopping up, it's absorbing that energy transfer and stopping the reactive oxygen species from forming in the first place. So CAX directly on the photosensitizers, it reduces or suppresses the excited state of those photosensitizers by absorbing the energy transfer. Okay, if you've got questions at the end, um, I'm happy to do it, just jot them down. CA quenches the excited state of energy and the photosensitizers, thus preventing the formation of singlet oxygen, which is your O2, and O2 is a double free radical because it's got two unstable molecules that are looking to balance itself out. So it really does cause a lot of damage in the skin. So, I'm going to say super fluid chianocrylate at the top, and it's hyaluronic acid. So moving on to our new baby, this um, hyaluronic acid we only launched last month. Those of you that have sat through the presentation, sorry if it's repetitive, but I'm just going to do a little bit on the hyaluronic acid um, super fluid. So hyaluronic acid, it is an old ingredient we have in our bodies. It has been around a long, long time, but it is often underestimated as how important it is for the skin. Hyaluronic acid is going to hold a thousand times its own weight in moisture. It helps to improve collagen. It helps to improve elastin. It'll plump the skin, reduce the appearance of fine lines. It's an antioxidant. It does a lot. So super concentrated hyaluronic acid, super fluid. We use two different types of hyaluronic in here in the superfluid, the hydrolyzed and the crosslink, which we'll look at that in a minute. So this is going to boost hydration. It's also going to help with healing. It's a penetration enhancer. It's going to help improve um, penetration of other ingredients. And it is ideal to customize in your professional peels and fantastic out of the superfluid. This one's a real winner if you're doing microneedling. So let's look at those two different hyaluronics that we're using in the superfluid. So this one is your cross-linked hyaluronic, and this almost acts like a lid. It's what they call high molecular weight, which means it sits high up in the skin. So it acts like a barrier. It's almost like putting a lid on the skin and preventing transepidermal water loss. So high water binding capability, very, very hydrating. It's an antioxidant and it forms a film on the skin. And it will slowly, almost like a sponge being squeezed out, deliver water into the skin. So that's our cross-linked. Now the next one is the hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. And this is unique to the superfluid. And there's a reason that we use this in here and why I say it's very good to use on your clients when you're doing your microneedling. So to hydrolyze something means hydrolysis is a complex chemical process of breaking apart bonds in a molecule in the presence of water. Apart from moisturizing, the size also helps the skin aid in its repair. It boosts wound healing. And if we think of what microneedling is, that's causing a wound to the skin. And it stimulates cellular repair. So let's have a look what it's actually doing in the skin. It's working on the immune system. Okay, What it's going to do when you use this hydrolyzed hyaluronic, it stimulates a growth factor in the skin called beta defensin 2 cysteine. Okay. It's a low molecular weight um, hyaluronic, so it goes deep into the skin. This growth factor has antimicrobial ingredients and um, actions and a wound healing. So it's actually going to help repair. So that wounding response is stimulating those growth factors, the collagen, the elastin. And it will also have an antimicrobial action. So if we're creating micro wounds in the skin with our needling, it immediately starts that wound healing response, boosting the result that you get from your micro needling because you're going to get all those all that collagen, all the elastin there, and it will prevent any infection because it has this antimicrobial action. So stimulates a keratinocyte and fibroblast proliferation, accelerates cellular repair, has an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial and wound healing effect. And that is why I would highly recommend that you use that hyaluronic acid with your needling. So just to um, recap there, we've got those six different superfluids. They give absolutely amazing results. All of them have a place. And you can see, look at it in a positive way. You have got something to treat absolutely everybody there. 
You can customize these treatments. If somebody comes in, there's nothing that you can't treat with those six different um, superfluids. So let's have a look. We can retail those, and I'm happy for you to give those to clients to use at home, but let's look at how we use them in a treatment. Now, I said to you that you can use this in with a peel. So let's look at bioactive. So say, I apologize for those of you that are new to NIMU bioactive is NIMU's peel, it's a walk-in peel, everybody can have that, you get lactic, glycolic, citrate, great result on the skin. We would use four to five mil of that bioactive complex peel, and then we're going to match it with the superfluids. Now what I mean with that, say for example, we've used four mil of the, of the peel, the bioactive peel, we can use four mil of superfluids. Now you can just match it and just use one, so, for example, if I was treating aging, I could do four mil of the um, bioactive peel and put four mil of retinol in. But I can use up to two. So I could do two mil of vitamin C and two mil of vitamin A. And then I'm really treating aging and pigmentation. The other way you can do it is you can actually look at the client and you can say her biggest concern here is pigmentation. So I'm going to give her three mil of vitamin C and one mil of retinol. Okay, then you mix those um, two products together. So you're bioactive, you mix it in with your superfoods just with a brush and you apply it to the skin. So we never use more than two superfluids in the treatment. Okay, so you can mix up to two superfluids with your peel, no more than that. As I say, you can just will use one, but you can use two. Should two superfluids be chosen, the main superfluid will focus on the client's primary concern. We do recommend if you're running this as a course to treat somebody, you should do at least four treatments and just stick with the superfluids that you've chosen. So here you can see there's our bioactive peel and we're using four to five mil of the peel and four to five mil of the superfluid. The next one here, we're using two superfluids and we've got four to five mil of your um, bioactive. Primary concern there, we're using two to four, so we're using more of the primary concern, and then we're using a little bit less of the other, but always matching it, same for same. Okay, the SRC, you will find they come in the pods, and that's five mil, so you're always going to be matching five mil of your um, SRC and five mil of superfluid, so you're doing the same, five of the um, peel and five of superfluids and you can use up to two again you're mixing it together and then apply it onto the skin and again we're suggesting if you're doing an SRC do a course of four and just stick with those same superfluids all the way through to really give you optimum results so it's showing you here there's our SRC five mil four to five mil of your retinol and then if we want to we can use two so microneedling with the superfluids, and um, Eunice always talks about the results she gets with the retinol. She uses that a lot for the microneedling, but the hyaluronic acid, those two would be the standouts for me. If you want to do microneedling with a superfluid, the retinol is going to give you a great result, and then the hyaluronic for the reasons that I mentioned. If it's a new client for um, microneedling, the hyaluronic is excellent because it's going to really help with that wound healing response. So prepare skin as per treatment. Select your appropriate superfluid as your glide. I don't want to confuse you too much here because it goes on to the TDS, as those of you that don't know. But you'll do your needling with around four mil of your superfluid. Okay, and then you'll carry on with the treatment, which would be the use of a TDS after that under the mask. So here you've got um, the roller, but some of you, many of you will have a pen and you can definitely use your derma pen and then just use your superfluid with that. Okay, therapeutic treatment. So I said to you, you can use it in your peel, you can use it for microneedling, and you can use it in a therapeutic treatment as well. So select the appropriate superfluid, dispense a few drops on the tube, apply it onto the skin, and then put your mask over the top. Okay, so support treatments, that's your therapeutic treatment. So they've got NAD there, three to four mils of that, and then whichever treatment mask you want to use underneath, um, sorry, over the top of that side, I'm not sure which one that is, that's the anti-aging treatment mask. All right. 
Let's look at the transdermal solutions now. So TDS is for short. So whenever we talk about TDS, that's your transdermal solutions. Now, just to confuse everyone, these were the first in products, and there's four TDSs that NIMU bought out to use for needling. These were specifically designed for needling, but they were so popular they became a retail product as well. So your TDSs again can be used in your treatment and they can be used at home as a, as a serum, okay? So we have four TDSs. I said we had six superfluids and we have four TDSs. The difference with these is they have more than one ingredient. Okay, when we looked at our superfluids, they had one main active ingredient. With these, we're looking at more skin typing. Okay, so this we've got for environmentally damaged is our first one. Now you can see here, I've got a picture of a lady here with glycation. One of the main actions of this TDS is to treat glycation, which is the glucose or the sugaring on the collagen and elastin fibers, where you end up with almost like this hashtag on the skin. Can you see the cross-linking on the skin here? This is specifically to treat glycation. So you definitely, you can retail this TDS for clients to use at home, but you can use this TDS for its original purpose, which was for needling. So let's have a look at some of the ingredients in here. You've got, I'm not gonna use the Latin, the silk tree extract. So the silk tree extract is the main ingredient here to work on this glycation. And the silk tree, um, tree extract literally stands in front of the fibers and allows that glycation, that sugaring to occur to itself and it protects the collagen and elastin. So people that are prone to glycation and all people that have a high sugar diet or they may well just, if their mother or father has glycation, they will be prone to glycation. So if it is in their family history, I really do recommend that a client is put on this TDS for environmentally damaged at home. Okay, so your silk tray extract in there, that is working to prevent this glycation. And these TDSs are a light serum, you would use them underneath your moisturizer at home, or they can be used as a glide for your superfluid, uh, for your needling, I'm confusing myself now. So again, this ingredient here is the Latin, it's known as the four o'clock flower because it flowers in the afternoon. We've got this in here because it helps to calm the skin. It pacifies the communication between the epidermis and the nerve ending. It reduces inflammation and redness in the skin. We also have an ingredient here called isopropyl isosterate. And we use this ingredient every single one of our TDSs. And one of the um, main point of differences between these superfluids and these TDSs is that they will all work on barrier function. This isopropyl isosterate really strengthens the barrier. So if you've got a client with a compromised barrier, I wouldn't be putting them straight on a superfluid retinol. Their skin's not gonna be ready. The TDS is a fantastic for rebuilding the barrier along with other ingredients. So all of the four TDSs will improve the skin's barrier. They all have a, a um, delivery system called the liquid crystals delivery system and what that does is it sort of lines up all the water molecules in the skin and allows the product to penetrate down into the skin but inside and outside the cell it's almost like putting a blanket on it will go all the way down through the skin inside and outside the cell so the benefits of the transdermal solution for environmentally damaged barrier it reduces skin fatigue and aging. This is where we're talking about the sensitivity. It will also work on this glycation. And around the eyes, it will actually help with dark circles, improves that brightness around the eyes. But the difference is this has got more ingredients. It's multi-purpose. It's not one ingredient. And all of these TDSs will be used for barrier function as well. The hyperpigmentation TDS, I use this a lot. I think this is a really good tool to have. Um, this is for hyperpigmentation. So some of you may know the fader range. This has a few of the ingredients in the fader range. It does not replace the fader um, serum or the fader range. That has a lot more ingredients in this. But if you've got a client with pigmentation, and I can't remember the price of these TDSs, but they're a lot less than the booster. 
This will help reduce pigment in the skin. You've got an ingredient called ODA here, which inhibits the tyrosinase action in the skin. It prevents the formation of that tyrosinase enzyme. Um, and you've also got some microencapsulated vitamin C in the same way that we had it in the superfluid. We've got it in that reform, reshape um, delivery. And then we have the liquid crystal structure and you also have the isopropylizer stearate for barrier. So where do I recommend this? If somebody has pigmentation or you've treated them for pigmentation and you want to put them onto something to maintain the result. If you're going to do microneedling, if you're going to do laser, if you're going to do fibroblast treatment and you're worried that your client must have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, this is a great product to put them on before the treatment because it's going to reduce the amount of melanin being produced in the skin and it's going to work on skin barrier. So often if you're going to be doing, in a, I don't know who does fibroblast, but you're worried about that post-inflammatory, this is a great product. Get them on this three to four weeks before to reduce that tyrosinase activity and rebuild the barrier so that they're ready for their treatment, their skin's at their optimum. The TDS problematic. So this is for clients that are prone to breakout. Um, this one here, one of the main ingredients is an ingredient called Phytus fingersphene. Now, Phytus fingersphene is found naturally in the skin. It has a microbial action, antimicrobial, but also will help to normalize the oil production. Now, we have a booster for breakout as well, but this one here will work really on the barrier. It's good for clients that are getting a little bit of breakout. Um, you don't want to put them on maybe an AHA and it's, they're really going to rebuild the barrier. So if they've got quite a sensitive skin with breakout, this will be a really good um, product to put them on. And remember that you can do your needling with this product as well. So if you've got somebody with breakout, this is the perfect TDS to use for your microneedling. Again, you've got isopropylizer stereate, so remember that barrier function. A lot of people with breakout, their barrier is really compromised. This is going to rebuild and strengthen the skin, normalize oil production, increase the skin's defense. Again, you have that liquid crystal um, delivery, which is in all of these. So this will work on barrier. It reduces the signs of aging, uh, sorry, aging acne. It reduces redness and inflammation, and it inhibits the growth of those um, bacteria, we don't want those P acne bacteria. Now our last product is the fourth TDS, and this is our TDS Interactive. Now you can see here, we've got this in for every skin typing here, apart from problematic. So you can use this environmentally damaged, you can use this hyperpigment and your interactive. It's actually very anti-aging. It's not just for sensitive skin, this one. You will get really good results on collagen and elastin production in there. The environmentally damaged um, TDS, we said, was predominantly for that glycation. If you're looking to build collagen, this is the one that I would use. So you've got a lipopeptide in here that stimulates collagen one and collagen four. So it improves the dermal epidermal junction. So it's gonna put that bounce into the skin. The four o'clock flower, which we also had um, before in the environmentally damaged. This one here, again, it can pacifies that communication so it reduces that inflammation and sensitivity in the skin. Again, your liquid crystal structure. And remember, each one of these TDSs, and it's not in the superfluid, each one of these TDSs has this ingredient, isopropyl isosterate, which is working on barrier function. So the benefits of this skin barrier, it desensitizes because of this four o'clock flower. It will stimulate collagen and elastin, so it'll firm the skin and reduce um, lines and wrinkles. So that's our fourth TDS. So that's our last product. So let's have a look of a summary. And as I said, it is very difficult to summarize every single way that you can use these. Um, what we're doing is giving you a large amount of products to really customize these treatments, okay? So I've put it as much as I can into a summary, but you aren't gonna go wrong with these, okay? You cannot go wrong with what you're doing with these, really. So let's look at microneedling. So with microneedling, we can use the TDSs, which are the four serums that we've just been through. And as I said, those TDSs, those transdermal solutions, were the product that was created initially to use with your, um, microneedling. Be aware that the cost of the TDSs is, is much lower than the superfluids. 
The TDS is, um, I think they're about $4 for, for a treatment, whereas you're, um, sorry, $4 a mil. That's right. <laughs> Not at me, Lydia, if I'm right. Um, but your superfluid is a lot higher. So microneedling, we can use one TDS as a glider for your microneedling treatment. And when you're using um, a superfluid for your microneedling, only use one. Remember I said that we can use up to two for your peel, but I don't want you using two and layering products when you're doing your microneedling. Look at the skin, pick either a TDS or a superfluid. With your superfluid, the cost is higher, and I'll get um, Lydia to go through that. I will send it out later if you're interested. But I would be charging more if you use a superfluid. If you are going to do a superfluid treatment, you will get a great result. As I said, the, the retinol is fantastic. The hyaluronic is, is going to give you a great result for microneedling, but the price is going to be higher. That is not to say that by using one of those TDSs, you're not going to get a result. They are specifically designed to use for your um, microneedling, and we get phenomenal results with that. So you'll use about four mil of those. With your peels, we can use up to two superfluids mixed together in your peels. So as I said, you can use those in your bioactive peel and your SRC. Please remember, you do not mix superfluids in with the smart resurfacer. Those of you that have it, the smart resurfacer is oil-based, okay? And these are water-based. So if you mix that together, you are not gonna get a good result. That's pretty much the only way you can go very, very wrong with this. Application under a mask. So in a therapeutic treatment, we can use one TDS or one superfluid under your mask. So if you're just doing a therapeutic treatment, pick a TDS or a superfluid and use that under the mask. After a peel or after microneedling, okay? This is where I would sort of alternate it. If you use a superfluid in your peel, use a TDS under the mask at the end. If you use a superfluid um, in your microneedling, use a TDS under either your mask or under your moisturizer at the end. So alternator. Under your hydrator at the end of the treatment. So if you want to put one of these underneath your moisturizer at the end of the treatment, if you haven't used it under your mask, apply the TDS under your final cream after the hydrator. If um, and then use a superfluid under your final cream after the um, under the hydrator. So one if we're using a superfluid. Within the treatment, use a TDS at the end, and if you're using a TDS in the treatment, use a superfluid at the end. Um, what I'm going to do now, I think I've got some questions here. I know that was a lot of information. Thank you, Danielle. I've answered that question. Sue posted a question saying that how do we price adding the superfluids to a treatment and how do we measure the two to four mils? I think you will agree with me that one mil is about one squeeze, one drop is about one mil. And also I like how Danielle says one teaspoon is also about five mil. Just to visually kind of measure um, how many mils is, how does it look like? So one squeeze is one drop, one mil. So when you use superfluids in your treatments, you let's say you use on average up to five mils so that that will cost you extra fifteen dollars per treatment in this case we advise you to just um basically when you um work on the costing of your treatment to basically add extra twenty to thirty dollars per treatment every time you use superfluids you agree with me daniel on that yeah uh, as i say i think results wise Clients with that hyaluronic and the retinol, you, you do get an amazing result on the skin. So try it. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> Any questions from anyone else? Because you can unmute yourself, guys, if you want to. All right. <laughs> no, that's it. That's it. You can always message Lydia afterwards if you've got questions or myself. All right. Thank you very much for your time today, everybody. Um, as I say, try and just get your head around that, but it does give you an incredible toolbox and you have so many options for treatments. Your clients are never going to get bored and us as therapists will never get bored um, with NIMU. As I said, there isn't a client that walks into your salon that you won't be able to treat with all those products. Yeah, all right. I think we don't have any more questions. But as Danielle said, if you've got any um, later, we'll, you'll be able to ask me or Danielle. And I will save the recording and I will put that recording up in our closed Facebook group. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Bye. Bye.